The iMac 24 inch is still a lot of people's favorite Mac. The last update was really loved by a lot of people. But the iMac 24 inch might not be a good choice to buy in 2023. It wasn't a good choice for me even in 2021 for various reasons that I'll explain later. Here are 8 reasons why you should really not consider getting an iMac 24 inch now. Let's get started. The iMac 24 inch was introduced in May 2021. That's almost 2 year old without a refresh. Meaning you're getting a 2 year old design, outdated processor, older camera system, older Wi-Fi and Bluetooth standards and slower ports. In 2021, the price for this configuration was $1300. After 2 years and with outdated specs, Apple still sells this for the same $1300 retail. Isn't that reason enough to skip or wait on buying an iMac now? But there are more reasons. Reason number two, the processor. This is a very important one. The iMac uses an M1 processor. This is the same processor found in a $599 iPad Air, which was released last year. What's even worse, the $599 iPad comes with an 8-core CPU and 8-core GPU. But the $1300 iMac only comes with 8-core CPU and 7-core GPU. Even the base model MacBook Air, which is $100 cheaper, comes with the newest M2 chip with 8-core CPU and 8-core GPU. This shows the extent of how outdated the processor alone is. The M1 is still a very capable processor, but look at what you're getting for the same price in a Mac Mini or MacBook Air. For $1300, you can get an M2 Pro processor Mac Mini. In multi-core benchmark speed, the M2 Pro is almost twice as fast as iMac and also comes with a 16-core GPU versus a laughable 7 on iMac. Even the $599 M2 Mac Mini offers so much more than M1 iMac. Okay, you might be thinking the M2 Mac Mini for less than half the price comes with much powerful chip, but it doesn't come with a great display as iMac. That's true, but the display is not upgradable. It's also a 2-year-old display and Apple now sells a separate studio display for $15.99. The studio monitor is a much better monitor than what comes with the iMac. It's a 27-inch 5K display with 600 nits brightness and also has a much better camera as a webcam. The iMac is a 24-inch 4.5K display with 500 nits brightness and lower quality camera. Even if you buy an M2 Mac Mini with a studio display, it may end up being slightly more expensive, but it will be a better value than the iMac. One more thing to note is the M2 Pro Mac Mini can now support an 8K display. So if you want to upgrade to a better display later, the iMac 24-inch won't let you. Number 4. The similarly priced Mac Mini has a memory bandwidth of 200 Gbps. The iMac has less than one third of 66 Gbps. How does this affect your daily usage? Even if you have 8 or 16 GB RAM, if you switch between apps or load heavy applications, your processor has to move large amounts of data in and out of your CPU. A large bandwidth will result in apps loading faster, switching between apps will be quicker and everyday usage will feel much smoother. The importance of this will increase as apps gets more powerful over time. Fifth, lot of people love the iMac specifically for the display as they use it for photo and video editings. The iMac does not have support for ProRes and ProRes DRAW. It also does not have any dedicated encode or decode engines for video editing. Similarly priced Mac Mini with better GPU has dedicated ProRes engines which will make photo and video editing much quicker. So if you are a content creator, the iMac does not offer some important capabilities. Sixth, iMac was my first choice two years ago. But after using it for a week, I realized how incredibly overpriced it was and the value for money is very low. I made a whole video about why I had to switch from iMac to Mac Mini talking through all the points. I'll link that in the description as well. If it was of low value two years ago, think of the value you now where there are more powerful Macs available for much cheaper price. Speaking of the price, the iMac launched in 2021 at $1299. And what is the current price if you want to get one now? Still $1299. The iPad has more powerful chip than the iMac. The base model comes with 8GB RAM and 256GB storage. For my personal use, the 8GB was not sufficient at all even for medium workloads. Going to a 16GB memory model is at least $1500 now. I don't see how a 7-core GB GPU M1 256GB Mac could be worth over $1500. Since the iMac was refreshed almost two years ago, can you just wait for a few more days or weeks for an updated iMac? Maybe that would still be $1299 with an M2 or M2 Pro and better hardware? Well, as per reports, Apple does not have any plans to update the iMac to an M2 version and they intend to directly bring M3 to iMac. Since the M2 was launched in mid-2022 and given that M2 Pro and M2 Max were launched very recently, an M3 chip is not expected 
expected to be announced at least before June 2023, which means it could be at least the second half of 2023 to see an M3 iMac. So if you plan to get an iMac now, you're just putting money for a really outdated model, which could become even more obsolete in a few months. So what are my options? There is not one, but multiple great options here. If you just want a good budget desktop, just get the M2 Mac mini and buy yourself a monitor of choice. You will never regret it. If a good display is important for you, get the M2 or M2 Pro Mac Mini and get the Apple Studio Display. It might be a little bit more expensive than the current iMac setup, but it will serve you much better for far longer. Your money will be put in good use. Another good option is the M2 MacBook Air for $1199. It has a better processor, a great display and amazing portability. It's just a smaller display than the iMac if you're okay with it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hope it was helpful in making your purchase decision. Please like and subscribe my channel if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.